Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel as you already know that living in London can be so damn expensive. I know a lot of people want to be in London but because of the high rent they just feel like damn I can't live in this place. And people don't really understand that you can be outside London and within 20, 30 or let's say 40 minutes you will be in central London just with one train and i can understand it's never your fault because you cannot know all these things and that's why i came up with this video i'm gonna title this one top 10 places to live outside of london this video is for you if you don't want the normal london hustle and bustle you just want a cool and a serene environment and as much you just want to be around london you don't want to be in london so that you can escape the craziness the rental crisis that is currently going on coupled with the high cost of living. So from the list that I'm about to provide to you, I can assure you that you will have easy commuting distance into the city, central London, and you will have just a train that will take you down to central London. You might end up spending a little more on your travel, but with the tube in and out of the city, you are definitely going to save a lot as well. Considering the fact that where you're gonna stay will definitely come with a lower rent, and I would say average uh, housing cost. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and let's get into this video. Pew. In no particular order, I will start with Guildford. Guildford is a town in West Surrey, southwest of central London. Just 31 minutes you can get to Clapham Junction on the South Western Railway. Total properties for rent in Guildford is 224. Properties for rent in Guildford listed in the last 14 days is 48. The median rent for a bedroom in Guildford is £1,200 and the median rent for a two-bedroom is £1,600. Guildford boasts a stunning high street with historic sets of beautiful architecture with plenty of things to do, events, fabulous shoppings, and array of pubs and restaurants. On number 9, we have Chatham. Chatham, Kent is a safe and beautiful place to live. If you are looking for a historic dockyard city and the birthplace of famous ships, this is one place that you really need to consider. Just 46 minutes on the southeastern line, you will be in Victoria Station, the heart of London. Total properties for rent in Chatham is 198 and properties for rent in Chatham listed in the last 14 days is 74. An average rent for a bedroom in Chatham is £872 and an average rent for two bedroom is £1,255. On number 8 we have High Wycombe. High Wycombe, often referred to as simply Wycombe, is a marked town in Buckinghamshire. High Wycombe is mostly an unparished area, meaning an area not covered by a civil parish. Total properties for rent in High Wycombe is 201 and properties for rent in High Wycombe listed in the last 14 days is 47. An average rent in High Wycombe is £954, that's for a bedroom, and an average rent for two bedroom is £1,318. Just 27 minutes on the Chilton Railways you can get from High Wycombe to Marilyn Bone Station. This station benefits from a great location by the Chilton Hills and has a good access to London and the rest of the South East. It also has a good value property prices. Moving on to number 7 is Shenfield, Brentwood. Shenfield is an affluent town with a choice of off-state rated outstanding and good state schools. 37 minutes on the Greater Angler train and you'll see yourself in Stratford Station, London. Total properties for rent in Brentwood is 100 and properties for rent in Brentwood listed in the last 14 days is 31. An average one bedroom is £1,388 and an average two bedroom in Shenfield, Brentwood is £1,512. The eastern section of the Elizabeth Line route runs on the existing rail network between Stratford and Shenfield in Essex. Cheshorn is an officially recognized town with a head for share rather than a London postcode. An Oyster card extension to Cheshorn was introduced in January 2013 with the station in Travel Card Zone 8. A total of 44 properties for rent in Cheshorn. Properties listed in the last 14 days is 21. An average one bedroom in Cheshorn is £870 and an average two bedroom is £1,412. Slough. 
Come on, I love this place. Another unparished area and a lovely town is known as Slough. Very close to Maidenhead, this is another lovely place that one can consider staying. With just 33 minutes on the Elizabeth Line and you will get from Slough to Paddington Station. Total of 204 properties up for rent and 63 properties have been listed in the last 14 days. An average one bedroom in Slough is £1,172 and an average two bedroom is £1,950. If you want to be close to Heathrow Airport, this is a good place for you. Seven Oaks. Seven Oaks is a lovely town in Kent with a population of around 30,000 people. Situated southeast of London, England, this is 21 miles from Charing Cross, the traditional center of London. Total properties up for grab in Seven Oaks is 60 and properties for rent listed in the last 14 days is 18. An average one bedroom in Seven Oaks is £1,103 and an average two bedroom is £1,783. The Times has named Seven Oaks the best place to live in South East in 2022, saying that the Kent Town has a combination of convenient commutability, top class schools and an abundance of greenery. Moving up to number 3 we have Red Hill. Red Hill is a lovely town in the borough of Rygate and Ban State. Rygate I would say is another lovely place one can choose to stay. They both have a bustling high street with a range of independent shops and a much more convenient town for commuters. Total properties for rent in Red Hill is 89 and properties for rent listed in the last 14 days is 23. An average rent for a bedroom is £1,140 and an average rent for two bedroom is £1,485. Just around six miles from Red Hill and you'll get to Gatwick Airport. And on number two, we have Reading. Oh, come on. If you're an IT person like me, if you don't want to be in London, Reading is another good place to stay. Reading and the Thames Valley is often referred to as the Silicon Valley of Europe. It's one of the most successful tech hub in the UK. Total properties for rent in Reading is 613 that's massive. And properties for rent in Reading listed in the last 14 days is 116. Average rent for a bedroom in Reading is 163 and an average rent for two bedroom is 1,488. A train on the Great Western Railway from Reading takes approximately 23 minutes to arrive at Paddington Station. Coming at number one and the last on the list is St. Albans. St. Albans is a cathedral city in Hertfordshire considered as the closest city to London. With a north historic building, it's an affluent place to live with lots of rumors that Harry Potter was filmed in St. Albans. Up to 155 properties for rent in St. Albans and 48 properties has been listed for rent in the last 14 days. An average rent for a room in St. Albans is £1,633. That's massive because it's a lovely place. And an average rent for two bedroom flats is £1,807. Alright guys, that's the video for you. Like I said, these uh, cities or towns that I've mentioned are just lovely places that you can stay outside of London. And within 20, 30, 40 minutes, you will be in London. Central London, believe me, with just a single train. If you like the video, come and let me know. Hit the like button and if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe so that you can get more content like this. Let me know your thoughts on this uh, top 10 list right in the comment section below. And if you want to know how much is rent in London, watch this video. On this note, I'm signing out. Peace and love. Piaaash! Boom!